Glad you're with us today on a beautiful day here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We're at the Legends Resorts. I'm Mitch Lawrence, along with the 2005 CPGA Teacher of the Year, Ted Frick, the head of the Classic Swing Golf School here in Myrtle Beach. We are very lucky to have one of the top 25 schools in the country right here at the Legends Resorts. Hi, Ted. Thanks, Mitch. Hey, man. So always great to see you. Uh, we're out here today. A lot of the country, it's mid-February, is under snow, ice, too cold to play golf, people inside. We are lucky enough. It's cold, mid-40s, but I love playing golf when it's crisp and clear. Uh, the one thing that we do want to do is get a tip about going out, playing golf when it's a little bit colder out because the conditions make things a little bit different. What do you want to tell me about wearing a lot well, of clothes? Well, yeah, because there's going to be a lot of us in two or even three layers, right? The underwear, the undergarments going on, mm -hmm. then the, the, the flannels and the fleeces are going on top, maybe a windbreak on top of that. What happens is the range of motion diminishes. So all of a sudden the large muscles stop turning the golf so we start losing power and we don't play our best golf on cold days. So I'm going to give you some keys on some stretches and some swing thoughts to get that power on these cold days. Perfect. All right. Go ahead. Lay it on me, man. All right. We're going to go ahead and put the golf club across the top of the shoulders and crisscross the arms. This is the crisscross stretch. All right. We're going to get into our good golf posture where we're going to go ahead and push the hips back into the hip socket, add a little knee flex, take out some of that knee flex right now, and a nice tilt of the shoulders to the right. All right. Golf posture. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and key on the left shoulder, big muscle, turning to start the backswing. I want you to take the left shoulder and crank it up and feel like it's rotating all the way over a flexed right knee in the backswing. Let's hold that for about three seconds. Big key to gaining power is the turning of the torso in the golf swing. Now to start the downswing, keep that right shoulder back, let it work under the chin, and let's go ahead and do nice footwork to the finish where we firm up this left side in the golf swing. That's beautiful. Great balance. Please Big key in the golf swing, right? All right, excellent. That feels great. You could really feel that all the way around. All right, so again, with a lot of clothes on, okay, the golf swing starts shortening up a little mm -hmm. bit. We want to key on trying to lengthen the golf swing through the turn. So let's do it one more time. We're okay. going to key on the right knee staying flexed in the back swing as the left shoulder rotates behind the ball. Use that as a wonderful swing thought in the winter time. The down swing, take the right shoulder, work it under the chin, and do footwork to the finish. Finishing in balance, letting that lead leg firm up. And I can feel that in my left hip opening up. Right, and you can see here how the right shoulder is past the left shoulder, so the whole upper body is unwinding the golf swing to the finish. Perfect. That feels great, Ted. This is a great tip. Take it out to the golf course. Take a little time before you get going. Do a few of these stretches. That's really important about having more clothes and trying to get a little more distance. So as always, we thank you, Ted. We'll see you out here at the Legends Resorts. Coming out to the Classic Swing Golf School, you will not be sorry. Forward my mail to the drive